Hey everyone, this video is going to be all about my new Dart Zone Pro Mark 1, from my initial reaction and unboxing, to then some nice chronograph testing indoors, to then a very mucky outdoor game where I first test it, to now, where I finally had the blaster for a couple of days, have played around with it a little bit more, and have some final thoughts on it. I don't know how long this video is going to be because I am, in fact, still recording it and haven't started editing, but I wanted to show you all those steps because I think they make for uh, a very important look at it that's not just from one of those perspectives. And at this time, I think this video should help some people who are on the edge about maybe purchasing one, because if you go to Dart Zone's website right now for the Pro Mark I and you type in a thousand units, you will see that there are just about a hundred units left. So that's still a handful of them, but if you've been waiting to get one of these and have been wanting to see some other people's final opinions on them now that they actually exist in the wild, um, hopefully this video can give you some more data because while I would love to say that this blaster is perfect and amazing and is everything we've ever hoped and dreamed for, it is an awesome blaster, but there are some things you should know about it. So let's dive into it and let's talk about the almost perfect Dart Zone Pro Mark I. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hello everyone, my name is Brett and sometimes I wear a beret and this is a box. And inside this box is my Dart Zone Pro Mark I. I have been very eagerly awaiting this one and I thought it was going to start arriving in October. All of them would start arriving in October. Except a week ago, Luchathor received his in the mail, and ever since that time, I have been anxiously awaiting when mine would show up. Some people got emails, some people didn't. Uh, Out of Darts has just randomly showed up too, and mine just randomly showed up. Mine has now arrived on Friday, September 27th, which is still not October, so most of these have shipped out before when they said that uh, they'd actually start showing up, which is awesome. And also, we have a game tomorrow, which means I can use this, which is like... Two thumbs up awesome. $180 was for this entire thing, a separate unit of ammo, which I don't remember how many darts it is, maybe 240 darts, which is like half half lengths, god darn it, and half full lengths, and that's being shipped separately. So that was included, it's a $30 value, so take that off really quickly, even if you don't think that that's worth the price. So that's 150 and then this was shipped with no uh, shipping charge. So that was thrown into the $180. So you're looking at this thing actually being about $130. Let's say it's $20 bucks for shipping this. Oh, okay, that was harder than I thought. Large-ish box. Sorry, you must be on this side of the camera to see what's inside. So I do like that inside this box you have your Dart Zone Pro box, but the corners are protected, which is a nice little feature. So they're meaning for this box to be nice and well protected. And I don't think I'll actually be bringing this to games so much. Just the contents inside but this is a nice way to store it because it is just cardboard so inside of all these boxes there is a certificate of authenticity that goes from one to a thousand and it is not just based off of what number you ordered so if you were the 150th order you would not necessarily get 150. now i was and i, I made sure for some reason that this happened i also waited almost a week until i ordered but i was the 180th order because it's 180 dollars Got him. I don't know. So, will my number be 180? Will it be something else? I do not know. I have not checked until... Oh. Interesting. My number... <laughs> not even looking at the blaster. <laughs> Just looking at the certificate. My number is 990. They're just shipping them randomly, guys. It's it's not actually calculated that way, so there's your proof. Okay, let's stop looking at the certificate and let's look at the blaster. Oh yeah, no, that's good plastic. That's the good stuff. So I recently have been using my Dart Zone Liberator in games and I don't think I'll have posted my video on that at this time. But one of my criticisms of that blaster, and maybe a few other Dart Zone blasters, is that the plastic quality is not the highest. It's a bit creaky, especially with the spring inside, it rattles a bit. And so that was one thing people were curious about with the Dart Zone Pro line. If you're paying 180 bucks, you better be getting some serious quality. This is actually thicker than I thought it would be. Maybe it's because the plastic is thicker. <laughs> There's some good weight to it as well, because these are not uh, plastic priming bars. These are metal. And here we go. Fully assembled. 
pins are in, sights are on. I don't know if they're on the best way or the way they're supposed to be, but they're on stock. I've got my darts out. I, I don't care. I'm going to be getting more of these, and I don't care about these being the special ones that were in a package because I want to see them now, full length and half length. And I've got my two magazines. Since I am not the first person to get this blaster, I have already seen some reviews, and I'm going to start off with some of their notices and criticisms right off the bat and uh, kind of, I guess, echo a couple of them. Luchathor says, that's weird. It is kind of weird. That's 40%, yeah, that's like 40% of the draw that has nothing actually to it, which is quite bizarre, so that only this last part is the prime. That was a really easy prime. Oh, huh, okay, and if it is primed and you hold it up, that happens. As someone who doesn't own a CETA, I'm not as familiar with these key rings on the side or the pins uh, with the rings at the end of them. With that, with this fully flush on the side, it doesn't make too much noise for a bit, but they will start to still come loose after some movement. And I'm not a huge fan of that rattle, but it's actually not as noticeable as I thought it might be. And then one that came from Luke from Out of Darts. The stock on this, if it is in the rearmost position, okay, so it's fully back like that. If you put a lot of your shoulder weight into it, carefully, yeah, it will do that. I may not have noticed that on my own because the ideal length for me is not all the way back here. I am not a huge man, that's kind of long for me. My ideal length would probably be one notch back. Here's one from Jangular. The front handle is a little wobbly. A little bit. It's not super bad, like the movie. It's not as wobbly as I thought it might be, but compared to the back grip, which is, it's very nice. It's wobbly. Now, you do have to take the grip apart with the screws in order to actually get it on there, which means underneath there is some Picatinny and I could add on, where the heck did I put it? Oh, it's out of reach, of course. My, a vertical foregrip or a, a grip of any sorts that works with Picatinny will work right here. Just like Picatinny, all across the top will give you tactical options. Not some bamboo darts. And I've heard on a couple podcasts when the creator of this blaster was talking about, or at least the head of Primetime Toys was talking to um, Detroit Dart Talk and Foamcast Radio about the new blaster and the new darts, that these rings are supposed to create a little bit of a better seal with their metal barrel. <laughs> Don't look down the barrel, kids. It's a dumb idea. And then there's a plastic one included in the box that I just tossed on the ground. But these tightening rings are supposed to increase the seal and therefore make it a little more efficient and make it go farther and faster. Now officially, I don't think I have anything else to show you sitting here with, with this blaster doing nothing. So let's bring it out to a game. Haha, -ha, just kidding, FPS test first because we are in a controlled, dry environment. I just have the two magazines with the Dart Zone Pro Mark 1. I'm going to test a bunch of different ammo through those systems. I'll check the other magazine compatibility and usage tomorrow. So first off, the full length Dart Zone Pro darts. Next up, AccuStrike slash AccuFake style darts. All right, try that one more time because those were weird. Next up, waffle tip style darts. Uh, that's a that's a no go. Next up, men gun style darts. The blaster comes with a metal barrel inside, and that works just fine for the included darts, but it does not work very well with waffle heads with men gun heads, and I'm fairly certain it will not work well with the Adventure Force style heads. And that's why there were also some issues with the AccuStrike style darts. These heads are just a little bit too fat 
to work inside of a metal barrel. We'll test those again inside of a plastic barrel, <laughs> but there is one thing I'm fairly certain will work, an elite dart. Moving to half darts now, we'll start with the included Dart Zone Pro Darts. Next up, worker darts, older generation. And I brought out some Z-tips just to try them, but I think they're going to jam. Oh, never mind, those work. Here's a quick look at the barrel. It's nice and metal inside here, but we want to test it with the included plastic barrel for some of our other darts. So let's replace this one with this. Okay, plastic barrel is installed. Let's start off again with waffle darts. Hmm, I'm starting to think that these waffles are just gonna be a nope for the Dart Zone Pro. How about men gun style? Oop. I guess the answer is kind of, but not very reliably. Now the Adventure Force slash Dart Zone waffles. Interesting. And for the heck of it, let's try the bamboo darts inside of the plastic barrel as well. And the half-length variety too. Are you a pro, Luke? <laughs> Trying to be. Am I a pro? I'm asking. Are you following me around? Oh wait! I am following you around. Well, you should probably do that. I'm a pro. Sorry. Accu strike. Back. Got to the back. Good hit, Brett. Where is it? Where is it? Where's it going? He's going. Cover the two. Go, go, go. It's children. What ammo do I have? Not much. Back! Got you in the back! Yeah. Where at? Part? Oh, there he is. Not anymore. Pro buddies. Like here in you know <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> Put that rocket down if you're dead. Good trade. Come on, DuckTales. <laughs> ha! Aurora Borealis. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get him? That was really close. Oh. How much ammo you got left? Okay, Not whoa. Enough dark stuck tails. Reloading. On your right, on your right. Coming in. Uh. Stop it. A butt shot. Oh. Whoa. There's one. There's just oranges. There's a misfeed. That would do it. Woo! Oh, I'm out of 
have ammo. Someone hit my blaster. I, I think I'm still in. I think, okay, there we go. Hey, how's it going, man? How do you like your dart zone, bro? Pretty good so far. It hasn't, it's jammed a couple times, but nothing too ridiculous. What darts are you using? Uh, Worker Gen 3s, and I'm using Interesting. Talon. Okay, you're using the universal adapter. Uh, okay. Uh, Hang on, I'm just gonna watch the side. Oh, never mind. We got people. Top tails! Woo! <laughs> Dart Zone Pro! Woo! Dart Zone Pro is better than the Hasbro Ultra Duck Tails! <laughs> Who got that? Was that me? Oh, Darn. Right, not... oh jammed, huh? No, good. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, Luke, do you want me to cover you? No. I mean, yes, but. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, bro. Oh, thank my you. Feet. Do it again. Make sure you get good footage I am. I think I'm recording. Jose said about one per meg. One poof per meg, not well, one jam. I had an entire, like, couple 35 rounds go through okay, and now I just had two in a row. Not at the time. I'm about to run out. All right, so I've had a couple more days to play around with my Dart Zone Pro Mark I. Since our previous game, it definitely was not ideal conditions there. It was rainy and therefore muddy, and so ammo got dirty. This plaster got a bit dirty. But, I mean, that's kind of the best way to test it, right? Put it through some non-ideal conditions and see how it performs. Obviously, we could go some next step further, but we'll, we'll call that good enough for now. What do I think right off the bat? Well, let's start with when it works perfectly, because guess what? This can work perfectly, and when it does that, it's amazing. These darts, I didn't use them in the game, I'm fairly certain. These darts, the new pro darts, the bamboos, bamboo dart, whatever you want to call them, these are gone. <laughs> these darts are fantastic. These darts are really some of the coolest things about Dart Zone Pro. Whether you're interested in the blaster or not, I really look forward to the future of these, and I think they definitely have a place in our hobby, and I can't wait to see when these start coming out in bulk. I know they're not going to be as cheap, and I, I say I know that just because the, the offer included with the Pro Mark I is about $30 for, what, 240 darts, where half are full length, half are half length, and I haven't gotten those just yet, um, so I don't expect them to be dirt cheap, but they hold up really well and I really like that because of my testing I haven't had a single dart break and Just the way When you look at these darts up close the glue on the head is is fantastic These things are not going anywhere. The foam is pretty solid But just that that head to dart connection is is great It makes worker darts cry and when they cry they lose their heads the Dart Zone Pro has definitely come strong with its ammo type. More testing will need to be done on, say, flywheel style, but just out of, say, talon claws, caliburns, I think these were pretty darn good because the seal on uh, these kinds of darts, due to the rings, the bamboo styling, <laughs> is uh, it's a good seal, but it's not overly tight. Now, for that reason, though, the Dart Zone Pro Mark I works really really well with included ammo perfectly dare i say but it does not work with every style of dart maybe that's true only in my case where it doesn't work with every style of dart maybe you have one already and you've seen it work with anything you throw through it i don't believe that's the case because i've tried this with a lot of darts and i tried it before with my initial chronograph testing with the metal and the plastic barrel the metal barrel is obviously much pickier with darts and these darts are going to work best of course with with this barrel but um it, i mean this one is almost entirely meant for just these darts and i guess elite darts yay the plastic barrel also has its limitations too and the plastic barrel is in there right now i was using the plastic barrel for my game because it got the fps down under to 150 which was great because that means that i can use this blaster in our standard games 
and I can also use it in some higher powered games with the correct ammo. So what darts did I have a major problem with? Kind of anything I noticed that had really thick foam because this foam, even though it, you know, the backs of it look like about your standard Nerf dart, which I don't have on hand, of course, it's not. And when it jams, it's quite annoying to try and feed those or to, to fish them out because you do often have to open the rings and you may even have to unscrew both sides to open it up and there will be a dart poking out the front of the, of the barrel and that can take some time. It's not fun. Trust me, I had to do it a lot, but that's what happens when you gotta test everything. I had some decent reliability with AccuStrike and AccuFakes with the plastic barrel. Now, I still had some times when it did not go that way, and I had some pretty nasty jams that took me out of commission for a minute or two when I had to go and clear it. But then I also ran through a couple 35 round drums and it was fine. Yeah, this can take 35 round drums, this can take standard Nerf magazines, although sometimes you will have to slap them in there, give them an extra oomph to seat them in the magwell. Uh, it won't take the new 50 drum, though, that's included with the Titan. So the more you know, the better. Uh, so in general, it can take all standard, you know, full length magazines. And with half dart magazines, if you have the worker adapter, for talons, it'll work just fine with that. And I think that's the same for the uh, katanas because the included mags is, is very katana-like. But katanas, talons won't fit in this mag well. They just will work with their owns inside of this blaster. Although don't quote me on that because I didn't actually test all that even though I said I think that I was going to. Oh yeah, accu strikes. Yeah, sometimes I fed a bunch of them through and they were great. And then sometimes it would just like jam two in a row. Just because also, you know, third party AccuFakes are not all manufactured the same. So sometimes they were just thicker and got stuck. I also had quite a few times when I was trying half darts where the dart would feed in over the breech right here in this little slot. It's almost like they gave you a small window so you could see your dart get jammed. That's where the handy tool comes in with only I had remembered to bring this because this is supposed to go in there and fish your dart out. Fun fact, it is actually meant to fit in the stock. That's what it says in the instructions, by the way. Yes, you can read instructions and know that. And it also says in the instructions that the two O-rings are included in the stock. See, it's perfect, it's beautiful. Made for it. The reliability, therefore, really comes down to being pretty perfect with the included ammo. And then also, I didn't get a chance to test it so much, but I did do some FPS tests initially with Adventure Force waffles. I think I actually had a 100% success rate firing them out of the plastic barrel only, not the metal barrel. That will not work, trust me. Although go ahead and try and then you'll get to unjam it or you'll make it work and let me know in the comments because that's also how my life works. Even with uh, worker foam, sometimes it worked just fine and then other times it didn't. And I was talking about this with Luke and it was semi-frustrating just because we know blasters that will work with everything, right? You have an elite blaster, you have an elite style dart, not half length, bad example, but you have an elite style dart, you know it's gonna fire out of that blaster because that's what it does. If it has a bigger head, like a whistler dart or a tagger, or a, you know, a Busby suction dart, okay, obviously it's not gonna work. But in this case, sometimes it, it worked perfectly with like worker Gen 2s or Gen 3, which ones are they? The purple ones. You couldn't accurately rely on them, which was my biggest concern, because if I'm taking this to say a competition where I would expect it to have great performance and be a you know, perfect setting since this can do 170 FPS with half darts, I, I would wanna make sure my blaster was always guaranteed to fire. And with these darts, that's true. But with other ones, that certainty, I've seen it firsthand, not always be true. And that gives me a bit of skepticism, especially when I found that some of my jams were really easy and quick to clear, and others were not. Like I said, that's from my experience. Maybe you have one and you haven't had a single problem, which is fantastic with your ammo. Maybe you've had the exact same thing. If you have, let me know. I'd be curious to know just because obviously I would love it if this thing took everything, but I just haven't seen that. So I can't say that this is exactly what we were 150% hoping for, right? It, it will work with a lot, 
but I can't guarantee that. And so for that reason, I would probably default to this ammo. Other things that were still true, the stock, I think everyone's harped on this one, but it is a very good point. That's a, that's a pretty bad stock. And I wasn't using my shoulder too heavy into it. The setting for me usually was like one or two notches back. But, you know, to have to be concerned that your stock might collapse on you is a problem. Everyone's a different size, so they may want it further back. And so if you're saying that you have to run this length, for me, yeah, I can get away with it. Me, me, small boy. We know that this can take other, you know, third-party stocks, so that's not a huge issue. But come on, it's the included stock. It should be it should be pretty perfect, and it's unfortunately not. There's also a, a safety on this in case you weren't aware, so S and then F. So F is for fire, which means I can pull the trigger. S is for safety. I can't pull the trigger. The rings, yeah, they were nice when I needed to take the blaster apart, but but why? Let's let's get something better than these, especially if Dart Zone is looking at the Pro Mark II soon. If they're looking at something that also, for some reason, involves these pins, let's do away with the rings. Uh, I, I think we can do better than that. The draw still, I mean, there's only this much effective draw, so I understand why. I guess it didn't ultimately bother me too much during the day. I just always was kind of like, oh shoot, like when this would fall backwards and I was like, am I primed or am I not? Because there's no other you know, priming indicator unless you actually check the trigger and find out that you you are. And one last thing, the handle, it's a little bit wobbly, sure. I, I got used to it, it wasn't a problem, but there's also a Picatinny rail underneath this. This wraps around the Picatinny and this one will attach directly to it. Obviously this is not gonna match, I know, I get it. But if you're looking for something that's more comfortable, it's out there, though I found this was uh, just fine. I'll mention the sights too, they exist. Um, I wasn't using these for our game. There's nothing too special about them in my opinion. They're just plastic, but if you like some sights, it's nice that they include something, and they do in fact slide on and slide off the blaster really, really easily. So there's no concern that those are gonna get stuck. If you want them, you can have them. If you don't want them, you don't need them. Like I said, the blaster is pretty solid, literally. This thing is solid, it's good plastic. I like how it came out, you know, aside from the stock being a little <laughs> unpredictable in a kind of unacceptable way. Uh, the handles are pretty good for me. I think it's a good size. I kind of wish that this was not dark gray. I wish that some more colors had been chosen here. Heck, I even wish that there were more color options in the initial launch, but that's just me, you know, complaining. This is a great first step for Dart Zone. For all the little critiques that I had, this is it's still a fantastic first step for Dart Zone Pro, especially the darts. The darts, I, I like I said, lo really look forward to those and seeing what the availability of them are too, because that could really legitimately change the game and change what people are looking to buy when it comes to ammo. Is it $180 good? Well, as I've probably mentioned already in the beginning of this video, it's not worth $180 because the shipping is included and the extra dart pack is 30 bucks, but you can only buy it for $180. So in a way, it, it kind of is $180. Is it worth $180? That is entirely up to you. And if you really want something like this in your life and you have no plans on building something that's a similar style that comes in, say, a Caliburn or a Talonclaw, or, you know, a souped up Sita. You wanna laugh at the Sita or not. I know that there are plenty of good Sitas out there. So if you want to build, you know, a high powered Sita, you can do that, but it's gonna take more parts. If you wanna build your own prophecy, you can do that too. But obviously you gotta build that one from the ground up. If you want to buy a brand new blaster that works fantastically out of the box, you get ammo with this too and mags. Which is, which is nice, and it's interchangeable with all the other stuff. And if you don't wanna buy it, exactly, you don't have to. No one's forcing you to, I'm not forcing you to. I just think that this is, uh, this is gonna be one of my blasters that I'll look at and say, that's another old reliable. Or it'll break next game, and I'll take everything back. I did say that we would riot if anything came out unexpected, but there will be no rioting today. The Dart Zone Pro Mark I is fantastic. I have rambled for a long, long time, probably, I doubt many people have watched the video this far, 
but those are my opinions. I've made them known. Guess what's coming out next, guys? I took the plunge and I bought the other one, though. Is this $180 blaster better than the $50 blaster that Nerf just released? Oh, we're gonna find out real soon, guys. Coming very soon. Why am I so enthusiastic about this? I don't know. Link in the description. If you wanna buy one of these, go for it. And if not, happy nerfing or dart zoning. Drat. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you later.